Come on, you all know you love post credit scenes. Hey guys, before you get started, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Hey guys, got a bit of a Spider-Man Far From Home update. Following the world premiere of Spider-Man Far From Home yesterday, more and more details about the movie's post credit scene have started popping up online, so I thought we could talk about it. Obviously, this is pretty spoiler heavy, so if you haven't seen the movie and don't want it spoiled for you, I'd click away now. Okay, so let's dive in. In typical Marvel fashion, we have a couple of post credit scenes, one being significantly more important than the other. Funny enough, we actually talked about one of them already, but let's go ahead and dig in. The mid credit scene in the movie picks up immediately where the movie ends with Spider-Man swinging through New York with MJ. After setting her down and leaping on a lamppost, a news report starts playing on the Madison Square Garden big screen with a breaking story from the DailyBugle.net. The site has acquired exclusive video from the final battle of the movie and then passes over to the one and only J. Jonah Jameson. And just like we reported the other day, it's being played by J.K. Simmons. Now the video shared was recorded by Mysterio and was manipulated to make it look like Spider-Man was attacking the city and claims the wall crawler has taken out Mysterio because he wants to be the new Tony Stark. Jameson brand Spidey a menace and blames him for the murder of the world's greatest hero before sharing the second half of the video. And in that portion of the video, Mysterio reveals that Spider-Man is Peter Parker, outing him to the whole world. Then we return to the credits. The second post credit scene is comedic, although I'm sure some people will interpret this as a little more. The scene kicks off with Nick Fury and Maria Hill driving down the road together, then suddenly they transform into Talos and his wife. It turns out they've been scrolls all along. Now before anybody screams a secret invasion, it does get addressed. So where is Nick Fury? Well, he's taking a much needed vacation. And after receiving a call from Talos, we learn that the former director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Is, is chilling out on a beach which, which turns out to be a simulation on a spaceship full of scrolls. Hey, even Nick Fury needs a vacation. It's totally played for laugh, so don't read into it too much. Obviously, the first post credit scene is a pretty big deal. We already talked about the return of J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson, which should make everybody excited. But I do find it a bit worrisome that Peter Parker's identity has been outed already. We'll have to wait and see how this all pans out. What do you guys think of these post credit scenes for Spider-Man Far From Home? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like below, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.